What is up, guys? This is D Rock over at One Hive 2.0 slash Invicta with a special um, episode that, unfortunately, um, I want to bring up because it's quite deflating, but at the same time, it needs to be talked about. Um, we recently got matched up, and we were very excited about the war with um, Clan War BR from Brazil. Uh, turns out these guys are full blown modders and they do not give a shit um, whether they or whether people know or not. Um, so during this war, um, we were looking at their bases and noticing how clean their attacks were. And first of all, so it's one thing to cheat when the, the, the ground is already fair. Right, but it's another thing to cheat when you have the significant advantage already, and you're just adding to it, which is pathetic. Um, so in this war, they had eight town hall tens, and we had three, and so that's five, and they had max troops. So that is ten extra attacks on a town hall ten versus a town hall nine troop composition. Um, so you already have the advantage, but it's just pathetic that you're going that extra mile um, to cheat. Anyways, so what they did was they copied our farm bases. So you'll notice here that um, this is a base from them. And if you go into if you go into uh, the next base, oh, that's our base. Um, looks very similar, <laughs> extremely similar. Um, but you know, look, same thing here. So this is um, their base. Their farming base, which is kind of an odd farming base, three star uh, or anti three star farming base. People don't usually do that. Oh, that's one of our bases. <laughs> so, yeah, um, just an overall asterisk on this war. We lost, but regardless, it was fun. I'm going to do an entire separate video for the recap. I didn't want to lump this into it because it's kind of depressing um, and I don't want it to deter away from our amazing attacks. So I just wanted to get this out of the way. So obviously I can go through this. There's like, you know, five different people that we took screenshots from where they stole our bases. Um, just pretty, pretty sad. So um, that's how they do it nowadays. I did want to um, highlight how they do it and then I want to give some tips as well for any clan that is fair play out there that wants to deter these type of modding situations or at least make them harder there's no absolute way to get rid of modding Play from the start. all right so how to stop modders you can't um, but at least you can make their lives harder right um, base tips for that so I did some research after um, this war and I and I asked around and see you know is there any way that we can deter them from um, practicing on us right so obviously we made we made them build the bases and practice on each other and on themselves but is there anything that we can do to make them stop um, attacking on us so the, the way you do that is you just pr completely empty your expos and you place your royals on guard mode what that does is when they're attacking you they do not actually activate the expo, so the expos aren't firing, and the queen and the king are not um, in the attack when they attack you. So in the sandbox attack, it's almost useless because you don't have those extra two defenses and your heroes are down. So, you know, what they have to do is they have to end up building your base and guessing where the traps are. And... Although, you know, I was thinking about you could unar you could keep your traps unarmed as well, but that doesn't matter. I did confirm that although your traps uh, may be unarmed, in the sandbox attack, it is still, um, they're, they're still working. So I thought that would be a good idea, but it turns out it doesn't. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But, th you know, the, t the, the idea behind this is, although modding is a pain in the ass and we all hate it in fair play, um, it's the reality of the world we're, we're seeing now. And, you know, make their lives as hard as possible and deter it. A um, couple other points I want to add before um, signing off here is that for those of you saying, oh, this is what the war scene is now and just live with it because I didn't make the way it is. I'm just, you know, watching or I'm just doing what everybody else is doing. Okay, stop being a sheep. 
<laughs> okay? Um, if you if you like the game and you like to play the game, there is no doubt modding takes away from that fun. Okay, there's no doubt in my mind. For me, there's part of like the, the surprise and, and the pride of going into a, a planning attack and then not knowing exactly where the traps are or how, what the outcome is going to be and seeing that come to fruition. If you just go into the battle knowing you already won because you practiced 20 times on the same base and you've perfected it, <laughs> what is... <laughs> Is there any fun in that? I, not to me. Who are, what are you trying to do? Maybe you're just trying to please somebody else? You know, that's just a sign of a weak person. And I, you know, I'm, I'm not about that. Um, anyways, um, so there's that point. The other point is we actually, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave this uh, video on a brighter note. We have some amazing stuff coming out. Um, we may or may not be working with a group of clans that are all agreement to come together and create possibly a fair play league so um there's a lot of work going behind it we have leaders from a bunch of different great groups um our groups included all four of our groups and we are working to establish ground rules and have a gentleman type league where we're all going to be fair play and match against each other so we don't have to deal with um these random or non-random acts of modding um, we did talk to the, the, this clan's leader, and you know he basically said, oh, well, um, that's what people do, and some people don't mod, but uh, some people need to. Well, if you need to, then you suck. <laughs> Bottom line. Um, anyways, I don't, I don't want to take too much time on this, but I, I, I did feel like it needed to be said. Anyways, this is D-Rock signing off. Cheers, guys.